Hey, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're actually going to look at how we can actually build this setting screen by using a form uh, view in Swift UI. So this is actually part of like the news um, app series that I've been doing on here. So if you've not actually checked out any of the other videos, I'll actually leave a link at the top here. Also, don't mind me wearing my hood. I'm not Palpatine, so it's calm. Um, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to basically build a setting screen and I'm going to show you how easy it is with the form view. Um, so let's jump straight into doing that right now. Okay, cool. So if you're someone who's returning from the news app series, and like I said, I'll put a link at the top if you've not followed this before, then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings view and we're essentially going to change and add a navigation view and a form as well so i'm just going to type this out now and then we'll break it down and discuss it so let me do this now <laughs> all right cool so as you can see right off the bat yeah um we've actually not done anything crazy and already we've got this form styling from apple uh, for free so the great thing about forms is you get a lot of this styling for free so you don't need to really do too much um yourself um, so it's better just to let the system kind of handle it for you. But essentially what I want to do is here on the setting screen, I want to add two toggles for handling dark mode. And then I actually want to add a, another um, like component at the bottom here that, you know, users can in the future tap on to open up links in um, Twitter. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically create something called a section. So what a section in a form is, is basically a group of components. So when you actually put the components together, you can basically give it a title. So let's type this out now and we'll break down the syntax again. Okay, cool. So let's break this down. So if we look at what we've got here, we've actually got this component called section. So essentially in a section, you can define a header. Now this isn't the only thing you can do, which we'll talk about in a second, but for now we're just gonna discuss the header. So within the header, it actually takes a component. So the component you have to give it is a text. So we're gonna give it a text. And as you can see here in our Swift UI preview, it automatically turns it up to, um, you know, uppercase so we don't need to do that ourselves so there's our section header there now the next thing we're using is a new component that you may not have come across called a toggle so essentially what a toggle is is if you worked with ui kit and um, it's basically a ui switch and if you've not ever if this is your first time in ios development it's essentially just think of it like a switch like a light switch where you can turn it on or off so what we're saying here is we want the toggle to constantly be on so constantly true so this will always be on so you can't ever change the value of this toggle so if you tap it and um, nothing will actually happen so the next thing we need to do with the toggle is we need to provide it with some content so that content is this label here so the label being um dark mode so as you can see here it says dark mode and then we have another toggle here and um, same thing true and the label again just says you know use system settings so you can see here how we basically almost like grouped our views into one section and swift ui has done the styling for us so we didn't really need to do anything so this is why forms are really really good but i have one problem with this so from me from a ui and ux perspective um i don't think this is clear to a user now if I was using this for the first time, I may get confused as to what this use system settings actually means. So what we can actually do with a section is we can actually give it something called a photo and a photo is basically some text below here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this section a photo and basically describe and just give this whole group a bit more context. So let's do that now. Okay, cool. And as you can see here now, we've actually got our new parameter underneath the header called footer. And again, we pass it a text object. And now you can see for our whole section, we also have a bit more of a description in terms of the, you know, purpose of what system settings is. So what I want to do now is I actually want to add another component to my form. Uh, but this time it's just going to basically be a label. So let's do that now. You might realize that this section here actually looks completely different to the section above now the reason why that is is because 
it's not a mandatory requirement for sections to have headers and footers so you can see here on in our second example we don't actually define a header or a footer at all we just literally just say we just want a section and that is it so you can see here we're using the label component so we can get a image um so the f f symbol i can never say that right s f symbol we got there in the end um and we basically find some text here as well in terms of like what it is we want to put in our label now i just want to show you something really cool so it may be worth noting that at the end of the day this section is still just a view so if we really wanted to we can actually style this the way we want to style it so what i'm going to do is to make this stand out more i'm actually going to style it a bit so let's do that now all right cool so now as you can see because we've applied a style onto our section all the children within this view will get that style so we don't need to apply it directly onto the label so you can see here we've actually made this stand out more and i think this has been a bit i think this has been a pretty short video you know this might be my quickest video in it but um essentially we've built a form in like less than i don't know two minutes so you can see here when you're building components with static views like forms and whatnot swift ui is really really powerful so before we actually run it on the uh preview um there's actually a typo here so we need to change this from setting to settings so let's put an s in there so hit zoom okay cool settings all right awesome so if we just run this in the swift ui preview you can see here that you know it looks pretty good so we basically built this screen like in like quick time in it like rapid time so in the next video what we're, what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to look at how we can use link view in uh, swift ui to handle a uh, link so when you tap on this link it'll actually open up twitter um and then we're also going to carry on with working and improving our settings screen so handling these toggles as well so make sure you stick around for that so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Also, as well, if you have any feedback as well, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And as usual, um, if you like the channel, please subscribe to help it glow. <laughs> please subscribe to help it grow, not glow, grow. Um, I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video where we look at how we use a link view and I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.